The last day of August is the date of a famous Sudrian holiday. Godred's Day is a celebration of Sodor's history, and every five years, a special automotive race is held, the Godred's Cup. Although Sodor is most well known for its railways, many of its residents are avid car enthusiasts. And in 1950, the Godred's Cup was held for the first time by Sodor's residents at what is now known as the Blue Mountain Speedway. Over the years, the race has gone from a simple competition on Godred's Day to a large charity event, sponsored by many companies from around the world. But the most unique thing about the Godred's Cup is that all of the vehicles that participate are sentient, and many of them are famous cars that have already competed in many racing championships. In 2015, the 13th Godred's Cup was quickly approaching, and arrangements were already being made. On the Little Western, Oliver, Duck, Dodge, Donald, and Douglas received a visit by the Fat Controller the week before the race was to be held. All right, engines, as you know, Godridge Day is quickly approaching, and the Godridge Cup will be happening this year. <laughs> oh dear, we'll need to start organizing our bets for this year. I'm afraid that will have to wait, Juck. Due to shipping issues, the cars participating in the race, as well as all of their equipment, will be sent to the wharf at Arlsberg. And would I be correct to assume that we will be tasked with moving them? Correct, Juck. The first group of cars will be arriving today. Donald, you will be tasked with bringing them to Kelsthorpe Road. Aye, sir. George, you will be needed to shunt the truck so that they can be loaded. Yes, sir. I won't let you down, sir. Juck, keep an eye on him. You know he can be a bitch. Well, clumsy? Don't worry, sir. I'll make sure he doesn't get into any trouble. Hey, watch it. Sorry. Ugh, idiot. Oi, lay off him. Oh no, the scary 2007 models. Whatever will I do? Hey, I'm a 2008 model. Uh, yeah, same difference. Uh, here we go. Oh, got something to say, we lad? Yeah, can you tell us about the Crusades, Gramps? <laughs> Oi, who do you think you are? They call me Ace, four-time Albion Cup champion. And I'm Jim Reverick. Three all right, all right, I get your point. No, shut it. Should have knocked that twit's engine block off. Yeah. Anyway, who might you be? Ralph Carlo, Little Talkie Pistons number 117. Jimmy Cables, intersection number 00. Paul Engas, retread number 79. And I'm Stacy Comet, blinker number 21. I'm Dodge. Uh, I mean, Dodge makes something Little Western D7, I guess. <laughs> Sorry. We engines don't really do last names. No worries. Yeah. Wait, Ralph, are you British? I figured you recognize my accent. Yes, I am. In fact, I was built here on Sodor, at a garage over by Marthway. I've always wanted to come back and compete in the Godred's Cup, and my team manager was finally able to work it out. So, here I am. Well, that's interesting. Here to interrupt, mates, but you lot need to get loaded. And soon, they were loaded onto their own flatbeds. They said goodbye to Dodge, and soon Donald returned from Kelsthorpe Road to pick them up. Nice to see he did alright. <laughs>